Now it's filming. What's up, folks? <laughs> Avery is the uh, milk steaming queen. Not really, but I just like to play with it. So the one thing that we do need to work on is our dosing, but we're working with what we have. Luckily this grinder is really good, we really are happy with it. We just need like a dosing funnel or something like that. Right, dosing funnel, eventually we'll get a WDT, um, probably. Or something like it. Yeah. Something. As you can see, there's kind of some clumps that are forming. Um, Let's see here, you know where the square is. Oh, I see. Yeah. Ooh. There. Oops. <laughs> Anyways, there's clumps that kind of form a little bit, um, but we do our best to get rid of them with what we have, which is tapping and whacking on the counter. Luckily, our distribution is pretty good. Uh, grounds distribution, we don't really have um, problems with visual channeling out of the bottomless portafilter, filter, so that's good. So what is this, 18 grams? Mm-hmm. Okay. 18 grams, we're going to be working with about 36 out. 36 to 38. And this is just a regular... Yeah, we're kind of moving sides, I guess. Yeah, this is just a regular shot. The flow, um, flow paddle is all the way uh, open, which is around 6 grams per second. So I can already tell this uh, is way too fine. Um, so we'll definitely need to grind coarser. This just goes to show the uh, how much coffee can vary on the grind. We've been pulling a million and one shots. We haven't done anything with this Guatemala yet though, so this is the It's been mostly trying to dial in the machine. Uh, it's been what we've been trying to do lately, not so much the coffee. Uh, our ratios are pretty small, so four tips, steam one, is just a little bit tricky for the size pitchers we have. Very pretty. Thank you. There you have it, folks. Oh no, it's kind of hard to see. Got a nice little rosetta there. So good, um, good milk texture can be done with this espresso machine. Absolutely. Let's see. Good puck. We had some issues with the puck uh, at the beginning. The shower screen is okay. The shower screen's okay. We had to end up like reseating it because it was kind of only dispensing in the middle, so we were getting some, some uh, not necessarily channeling, but a lot of the water was going in the middle. Uh, a puck later on through the shot. So uh, we just reseated the uh, the shower screen. All right, round two. This tamp is really nice. Tamper. Especially having an exact one, you don't have to double tamp to get rid of that little line of coffee. That looks a lot A little fast. A minute. 27 seconds.
nice. I like it. She's gonna try it too. It's strong. It might be too strong for some folks. I packed a punch. Yeah. Going. All right, so we're gonna try something slightly different. We did not change the grind size on this, so we are going to do some experimenting with flow control. One of the reasons why we were so interested in flow control is how you can manipulate the taste of your espresso by flow instead of adjusting your grind. Slightly. So these are still with no pre-infusion. What we're going to do is we're just going to slow down our flow just a little bit more. Yes, thank you. <laughs> that would be helpful. All right, so here we go. Slightly restricted flow, uh, not much. I'll probably have it like four o'clock, so. We're at a little over seven bar. You watching here? Slightly going down. And I'm gonna make this shot a little bit longer. At 40. Not much longer, just a little bit. That was actually 42. 40, yeah. 42 at 30 seconds. 29 seconds. Uh, up a little bit more, higher, okay. Probably have to take a picture of it. Can't nope, it. not really. Just nope, said. gotta take a picture of it. Okay. Well, I did do some good last year. This is hard to see here. I'm determined to show you guys so that you believe me. There we go. <laughs> Got it. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Are you good? All right, I want to see. Okay. So this is my second time to steam milk. The first time was so funny. Yeah, the first time was uh, was rough. I'm not used to something this small. So uh, this small, I just have to change my my workflow quite a bit. So 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 so. <laughs> what did he say? He said so. Yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. All right, I already purged it. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did last time because that was a good shot. I did a uh, slightly restricted flow at four o'clock. Um, yeah, slightly restricted flow at four o'clock. And I'm probably gonna steam my milk a little bit early just so I don't have to worry about cutting two things off at the same time. All right, let's do this. Woohoo! 
having some channeling going on. A lot of channeling is going on. It's cracking me up. I think that's the first really channeling shot I've had. And a bubbly. Let's fix this towel. Bubbly milk. Try this out, this is way too far. But... Touch of bitterness, but it's still not that bad. Okay, if you hold it like right here. Yeah, I think that should be good. A little too thin. Oh, good job. Oh, almost. <laughs> It's almost there, folks. My latte art is amazing. And my knuckles are slightly brown because it sprayed coffee on me. Oh no. Thank uh you. -huh. 